You're very welcome back to the show. Well, Cross Harbour are a five-piece traditional Irish music band who have been performing here in London and indeed across Europe since 2011. We caught up with them at one of their London shows. <laughs> started as a band um, about three years ago in 2012 and um, we'd all been playing together in sessions and um, all that kind of thing around London for a long time um, before that as well and we started and we had, I think our first official gig was at the Olympics in um, the Olympic torch ceremony in Camden um, when the torch arrived in, in Camden and we played at the Irish house in the Olympic year as well and um, yeah and it's gone on from there really. The band itself, you know, some of you have Irish roots and others don't. How do you all get involved in traditional Irish music? My parents are both from County Kerry in Ireland and my mum used to play tin whistle and uh, button accordion when she was younger. So she started me off at home on the tin whistle and then I went on to learn the flute and she used to take me to all the festivals and the workshops, particularly in Return to Camden and some over in Ireland as well. Um, the rest of us, well, we've all, we've all come from different backgrounds and we've all been introduced to traditional Irish music in different ways. I think Sam's parents used to run a folk club up in Nottingham. Um, and uh, Philippe's actually gone on and done the University of Limerick uh, Irish Music and Dance course. And Tad, his uh, grandparents and his relatives used to be over in Kerry, so he'd spend a lot of summers over there. Um, and he used to join in the sessions with Mick O'Connor to um, get started in the bar. And so we've all come from loads of different backgrounds. As a band, you're, you're obviously playing 
traditional Irish tunes. Do you play any, any kind of Flemish or any, any Canadian tunes or Scottish tunes as well, or is, is it all a kind of a Celtic mixture? It's mainly Irish tunes. We're doing a mixture of, um, of traditional tunes and tunes that we've written as a band. Um, Ola and Philippe particularly um, are writing a lot, of, a lot of tunes. And Rosie, our, our singer, who's not actually here just now, um, we do quite a few original songs of hers as well, along with we're doing an American song. Um, some of her songs are a little bit more leaning towards the poppy side of things, um, as well as some kind of um, traditional Irish songs as well. So a bit of a mixture, really. We kind of give a bit of a twist to the traditional stuff as well to do things that may be slightly different and slightly unusual. As a band, who would be the biggest influences on the band itself? I guess um, Lunasa, Fluke, Altan, um, Bothy Band, um, London Lasses, of course. You have been creating a big stir in London over the last uh, couple of years. You know, I see your names pop up at some very, very big events. What's the biggest event you've played at so far? Yeah, I suppose our biggest gig that we've done so far, well, what, it was certainly one of them that I can remember, is Trafalgar Square. Uh, we played in front of, was it three, four, fif 15,000, I'll go with that one, 15, 16,000. Uh, there was a few outside that couldn't make it. But uh, yeah, it was, it was a great gig. Um, I think we've, we've done that twice now. And uh, guys, uh, tell us about the albums that you've recorded. How many albums have you done so far? So we've just got one album out at the moment. That was last May, I think. And we're just uh, in the process of writing a new album. We've, we've maybe got two thirds of it written. We're just probably going back in the studio in October. Um, and I guess that won't be out till next May. Any big tours, any big festivals coming up now for the summer? Yeah, we have, we've, had, we've been quite busy the last few weeks with um, a few gigs around the country. And then we've got... Um, we're doing Bath Folk Festival again, which we did last year, which was a really great gig, which we're looking forward to. We're also doing one Purbeck Valley Folk Festival um, down on the south coast. Um, and then we've got a little bit of time kind of in hiding, getting the new album, getting the new album together and um, starting to pre prepare for that, really. And uh, just before we head out, we're backstage here before the, the, big, the big gig itself. What's the most requested number or, or what's your favourite tune that you play on a nightly basis? I think our go-to set is our Chicago Jig set. Um, it's one of the first ones that we ever performed live together and that we actually arranged. Um, and we really like uh, Poor Man's Labour, which is one of our new songs, and that's become one of our regular hits as well. So particularly those two, I'd say. And uh, tonight's event, it's one of many events that is planned over the next few months, which is all part of the Return to Camden Festival. How big a festival is that and how big a, uh, a thing is that in the traditional Irish music calendar here in London? The Return to Camden is really one of the highlights of the year for all the musicians in London. And that's actually part of the reason why we all, we all, we all got together. You know, me and all have first met the Return to Camden. And um, actually some of our first gig, one of our first big gigs at um, the Camden Festival as well so it's a great it's a highlight of the year it's actually one of the few times when all the traditional musicians from all the different parts of London tend to converge in one place and, and play music together. And finally um, if people want to find out more about Cross Harbour how can they do that? If, if you want to find out more about Cross Harbour we have a website um, www.crossharbourmusic.com um, we're also on Facebook if you search us on there and um, on Twitter we're at Cross Harbour UK so yeah look us up there and we'll keep in touch with what we're doing. The first number tonight is going to be a song by our singer Rosie and it's called Wedding Dress. We think it's an American song but we don't know the exact source of it. But um, that's also one of the first ones we ever did so we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Great stuff there from Cross Harbour and many thanks to them for taking the time out to speak to us before one of their London performances. If you'd like to contact the show, send an email to ian at irishtv.ie and you can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have right now, but do come back to us next week when we'll be out and about in the UK.